Hi, it's Verna from Drayton Valley Library here with Crafty Kids for You. Today we are going to be making a walking stick bug. So if you saw our story about that, we are going to try to make one ourselves. So I found a picture that I'd like to show you of a walking stick bug. So this is what we're going to try and make. So we just want to take a look at this to see what parts there are to this bug. So there's his body, right? A long, skinny body. And then count out how many legs he's got. Did you get it? There's six legs, aren't there? And he's got a set of legs, a pair at the front, a pair in the middle, and a pair, well, not all the way to the back. So he's got a little bit of his body still sticking out of the back there. And then look up here, what are those? His antenna right so we're going to make sure we put those and if i put it really close can you see that he's got some eyes he's got some eyes so we're going to put some eyes on too so those are all the parts that we are going to put on our walking stick bug so these are real bugs <laughs> they are camouflage because when um other animals who might like to eat them look for them it's hard to find them because they look like a stick they blend right in to their environment, into the area around them, and they just look like a regular old stick, not like a tasty bug. So that is why they're called walking stick bugs, because they look like sticks and they can walk. <laughs> All right, so I made some uh, practice ones here. So what I did, I just got myself a stick. Now this one happened to have a little end sticking out of it. I was going to try and make this little end stick out the top of him because uh, I thought that would be cool, but it made his him tip over like his head was too heavy. Anyways, but just like the one I just showed you, we've got a long body, right? Like looks like a stick. And then we've got six legs, two sets of, or sorry, two legs in each pair. And now something I could have done a little bit better, I could have left some more of his body hanging out the end. So maybe we'll work on this. Maybe I can slide it up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Will it slide up? Oh, I have to, oh, there we go. We could do that. That's a little bit better, but it could be even better, right? And then I gave him in at his antenna and some eyes as well. So here's my other one. And if you want to make them move along, well, the other guy works a little bit better this way. But you just kind of tap him and push him. Oh, you can't see that. Let me back up. Tap him and push him. And here he comes. There's your little walking stick bug. He's going to get you. Just kidding. Okay. So now I did these ones really colorful. Um, that was kind of fun. But I think let's try some that look maybe a little more realistic. So the things you're going to need. You're going to need a stick. Find yourself a stick, one that's long and skinny, like a walking stick bug body. Then you're gonna need some pipe cleaners. Now the pipe cleaners, oh my, <laughs> they're kind of stuck together. The ones I did over here, I used half a pipe cleaner for each um, color that I did here, but I'm gonna try and make my bug a little bigger this time. So I'm gonna try using a full pipe cleaner. So this will make one pair of legs. This will make another pair of legs. And this will make a third pair of legs. Oh, this one's a little wiggly, but that's still okay. And then for his antenna, I didn't have any long brown pipe cleaner, so I'm going with black. But I do have some short brown pipe cleaners, so I'm going to use one of these for his, his uh, antenna on his head. And then some googly eyes. Let me just make it a little bit more fun. So I'm going to get myself out here a pair of googly eyes. And I did really tiny eyes on the last guy. But because this bug is bigger, I'm going to give him bigger eyes this time. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can do some gluing. And that will just help your bug stay together a little bit more. Um, and if you're doing googly eyes, you will need to do some gluing. But uh, if you don't want to, for the legs and the antenna, you don't need to do gluing. Because all we're going to do, we're going to take the um, pipe cleaner and fold it kind of in half. So you got like a, you can kind of see where the middle is. That's our goal here. So let's take our other one. 
We're just gonna give it a little squeeze so we can see where the middle is. Okay, and our third one, this is my wiggly one. I think it got used for something else. That's okay, we can reuse it and give it a little squeeze so you see where the middle is. So the middle is where we're going to place our body. So now you're gonna look at your stick and decide which end you want to be the head and which end you want to be, you know, the other side, like his bum. <laughs> And remember that for his back side, we want quite a bit of the body still sticking up, out. So let's hold up this picture again to see. Okay, so his front legs are really close to his head. Okay, his back legs are maybe about the middle of his body, hey? And the middle set of the legs, about halfway in between the front and the back set. So let's try and do this, do better than I did with my colorful ones over there. So I am going to pick, let's see, this end to be the head. Okay, so we're gonna do it pretty close to the front. And you're just gonna lay the stick in the middle there where you made your little, um, little squish mark there so we could see. And you're just gonna twist it around. You can decide how many twists you wanna give it. Try and make the twist nice and tight. But the more twists you give it, the shorter his legs are going to end up being, just so you know. Okay, so I did about two twists, okay? Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do his back legs. And remember we figured out it was about the middle of his body where his back legs are. So he has quite a bit um, of his body sticking out back there. So I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to twist that around. I'm gonna do about the same amount as I did for the last one. Okay, and now his other set of legs is coming in the middle, hey? Okay, so let's put it there. And see, it's a little tricky because now we've got pipe cleaners sticking out everywhere, ah! Okay, give it same amount of twists. All right. Now, but that's not quite what his legs look like. What's different about his legs? Let's see. They have bends in them, don't they? So there's a bend up there, and then it's like another little bend for his foot. So let's try that on all of our legs. Now, if your um, stick is a little bit curvy like mine, you might have to decide uh, how you want it to go before you get too serious here. I think I'm gonna go for like that this is part's gonna stick up a little bit. We'll see if that works. And that's the thing that's nice about not gluing it, at least not yet, because then you can uh, adjust it, change it a little bit if you want. Okay, so I think about halfway, we're gonna give him a bend that goes up. Let's do this on all his, he's starting to look kind of like a spider, isn't he? <laughs> but spiders have eight legs, not Six. Six legs is for insects. Actually, it looks like a letter M. Can you see it? So make all his legs look like a letter M. Oopsie. They, <laughs> sometimes they want to get a little wiggly on you. Okay, so that's good for his first bend. Now we need to give him feet. Okay, so at the end of each leg, do a little, can you see that one there? Yeah, do a little bend and give him some feet. It's okay to put it down on the table. I just noticed I have black on here and it's a little hard to see. So I'm trying to hold it up higher so you can see. Black is blending. Okay, so the one side I've got all his little feet bent. Now I'm gonna bend all his feet on the other side. Okay, how you doing? Here we go. So now what I'm gonna try and do is see, will he stand up? Yeah, he's all right. but. I might want to twist his legs a little bit because he looked like he was falling forward. So you can adjust him. Okay, if you think the body should be going down a little bit more, you can do that. Just play with the legs. But I think the main thing is that he's at least standing up. <laughs> he's not falling over. If I want him to walk, I can wiggle his backside there and push him along. Okay, so this is good. We've got legs and a body. Now let's do a head. All right. So again, we're going to take ours here and I'm doing a half a size of, of the pipe cleaner, a little bit shorter, because when I looked on the picture, I noticed 
that his antenna are shorter than his legs. Okay. Now, however, you might want, if you're doing a longer one, you can do quite a few twists to get his antenna to be shorter. So remember, we picked which end was the head end and which end was the back side. And here, we're going to go on the head end. We're going to put that little indent. I know my fingers are everywhere. It's really hard to see. And we're just going to twist this around a bit. So if you have a really long antenna um, pipe cleaner, just do more twists. Okay. And then when you're satisfied with your amount of twists, you can stop. Now this is um, a good time if you think you're happy with where everything is and you want to put a little bit of glue to make it stay, you could do it. And it is time for glue anyways, because to do the eyes, we're going to need glue. Now if you want, you can do cute things to his antenna on these guys. I bent his, their antenna over a little bit. I think on this one, I'm just going to maybe give his top of his antenna a little fat end. Although in the pictures, I didn't really notice. Uh, Oh, he's upside down. <laughs> Might be just a tiny bit fatter on the end, but really they look pretty much just straight. So leaving it just straight is okay too and maybe a little more realistic. All right, I'm going for realistic with these guys because there's not all sorts of colors. He still wants to go forward a bit. I might have to play with his legs more. Okay, anyhow, so now it's time for the eyes. So I've got my two googly eyes here. But if you don't have googly eyes, you could cut out like a little circle of paper or something like that. Or maybe you've got some tiny buttons or things like that you could use. You can be creative with that. All right, so I'm going to, I'm using hot glue so that it will dry uh, faster. But if you're using hot glue, make sure that you know, you're checked with mom or dad or somebody else who's a bit more mature at home and knows how to be safe with these things. Okay, and I'm just putting a bit of glue like right across his face, pretty much is what I'm doing. You can also use white glue, but it'll just take a little bit longer to dry. I have to be really careful because it's hot. And these uh, eyes are really small, so it's easy to get your fingers in the glue. Okay, let's see. Let me get this one on. Ooh, it's my fingernails that are getting in the glue mostly there. Okay, I'm not sure. His eyes might be two different sizes a little bit. But this is what we've got. So there he is. Put him where it's not black in the front. There's our little stick bug. Well, he's a big stick bug, isn't he? We can put him down. <laughs> As I say, I think maybe his back legs are like longer than his front ones. But that's an interesting little task for me to try to figure out how to get his, there, his body to sit a little more upright. And we can make him go. There's your little stick bug. I should come up with a name for him. All right. I hope you enjoyed making your stick bug with me and that you have lots of fun playing with him and lots of fun um, looking outside at the interesting bugs that we can see all around us. I'll see you another time for another Crafty Kids. Bye from me, my little stick bug. <laughs>